Hello viewers. In today's lecture, I will discuss what do we mean by non-local property in fractional calculus. This is one of the most commonly asked questions by new researchers working in the field of fractional calculus. They ask that why the operators in this field are known as non-local operators. So, by non-local property, we mean that the next state of a system not only depends on its current state, but it also depends on the historical states starting from the initial time. So this is a brief introduction for the noun locality property. By system we mean any system that we use in applied mathematics. For example, the system called mass spring damper system that depicts the free damped motion is represented by equation that is highlighted with the red color. So this is also a system. Then another system is the one that you see on the screen called the series circuit system. Yet another system is the third one highlighted with the blue color is known as the non-linear pendulum. So these are all the systems that we frequently used in the field of applied mathematics. So the next state of such systems is required. So when we simulate such systems and the next state of the system not only depends on the current state, but it also depends on all the past values starting from the initial time of the system, then the property or the phenomena is called non-locality property. Now, for example, if the system is non-linear and it does not have the analytical solution, in other words, it does not have a solution in closed form, such as this last one highlighted with the blue color. It's a non-linear system. So we need the numerical techniques for the simulation purpose. Now, for example, if you, if you are familiar with the Euler's method or the Runge-Kutta methods or the predictor character or the Adams family of the methods, then you might have noticed that those methods do not use all the previous values to go to the next iteration. For example, Euler's method uses the previous, the value from the previous iteration to go to the next iteration. That is why the phenomena or the property is not the non-locality property in that case. I mean, in the case of classical calculus. So now, for example, in our previous lectures, we have learned about the fractional forward Euler's method that is represented by equation 3.13 and 3.14. You can see over here that the numerical technique has a term involving the summation notation. Have you ever thought that why the fractional forward Euler's method has a term with summation? There is another summation at this position as well. So the reason to have these summation notations in these numerical techniques is the non-local nature of the operator that has been used to obtain 
this fractional forward alice method and the operator used here is the Riemann level fractional integral okay if i move to the next slide this is another method called fractional backward Euler method now in this method once again you can notice that there is a summation notation at two different places one is over here and another is over here so that is why that the operator which has been used here is the non-local operator i mean Riemann level fractional integral yet another method from the adams family is the fractional trapezoidal method this method also has the two terms with the summation notation so actually i want to say that in most of the cases whenever you will come across a numerical technique that is used to solve fractional type of differential equations then those numerical techniques must have the summation notation it is because all of the historical states are being taken into consideration during the simulation purpose in order to go to the next state the method does not require only the information from the current state but it also requires the information from the entire past or it requires the entire memory or the history so now the non-local property is good for modeling reality especially for the transmission dynamics of infectious diseases this property is good for that but this is equally a challenge for numerical computations the difficulty of solving the fractional differential equations is essentially because of these non-local operators that are used in the field of fractional calculus you might have heard from the beginners in the field of fractional calculus they used to say that solving fractional differential equations is much more difficult than solving the classical differential equations the reason is the operators being used in fractional calculus are non-local operators i hope you have got a slight idea for the non-local property in fractional calculus i have given a short intro on this topic although the topic is quite vast and there are a lot of details to give but this is just a short overview regarding the non-locality property in fractional calculus i hope you have enjoyed the lecture thank you so much for watching the lecture